are exactly where you need to be on that path. Do you follow me? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Question. Would you explain the triad a bit to us, Bashar? Thank you. All right. You will find that our civilization will recognize ideas in what you term to be threefold symmetry or triads. You will find that this will imply the idea, in essence, of many, many things within the framework of time. Beginning, middle, end. Trinities. The balance and energy between three points will always be far more, in your terms, physically stable than any other configuration. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. You will find that we, therefore, function usually within three, in the sense that you have myself, Anima, and three channels upon your planet and three channels upon three planets. You will find that what you turn to by your planet Earth forms a triad with our civilization and the civilization you will know as that which orbits Sirius. You will find us to be approximately in your terms, not implying that any is greater or lesser, more important or less important, but you will find there to be approximately 300 of your years difference between your civilization and ours, our civilization and that of Sirius. You will find that as we all move together in expansion throughout this particular Consciousness triad, counterpart triad of civilizations. That Sirius will move into another triad. We will occupy their place in 300 of your years. In 300 of your years, you will, in a sense, occupy our position and relate to another world in the same way we relate to you. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Question. Do you relate to more than one civilization? Yes. Can you tell me a little about the others? I've already mentioned to you the idea of the civilization round and about your star of Sirius. You'll find that they explore, in your terms, the universe almost exclusively. Well, all right, I'll say 99.9% <laughs> telepathically, requiring no ships, wishing there to be. No physical transport for now. They will view themselves, although maintaining their own separate awareness of each individual identity, they will have a tendency to view themselves overall as one identity when the purpose suits them. You will find they will have much energy, therefore, in the way of communication telepathically with the surge of the entire civilization behind each and every communication. Do you follow me so far? Yes. You will find that very recently, in a sense, though Sirius has been to a degree in contact with your species for some time, they have only recently, in a sense, been very, 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 I'll say, happy to re-establish communication with your species in their terms, really establish it, truly establish it for the first time with a few individuals on your planet at first in your species. They are very, in a sense, happy to do so, for it forms upon your planet the second species with which they have been now in communication upon your world. The first being, will you turn to be your dolphins? Do you follow me? They're in communication? Yes. I mean, I'm not exactly following. They are? Yes, you are. You're following me quite well. <laughs> <laughs> what you were about to say is correct. They have been in communication with dolphins for some time. Right. They are only recently established, in a sense, the same idea of rapport with you human species upon your world. This forming two species upon your planet with which they are in communication now. Do you follow me? So the second species is man? Uh, and woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you will find there should be at least, I'll say, three civilizations which are physically, physically in contact 
with your planet at this time in a very limited degree. You will find there will be two more who are observing to a degree. They will hold their opinions for a while. Is Question. This, yes, is the third one, because um, you mentioned Esasani and Sirius, so is the third one the Pleiades? Pleiades, yes, is one. Okay. You will find what you turn to be. Zeta Reticulum to be another. You will find minimal contact between five to seven other civilizations have occurred physically within your recent historical <laughs> sense of timing. There will be several more who are, in a sense, observing without interacting at this time. Mm -hmm. Question. I have a question. Uh, there are times when, during the day, like when I'm just out and about or working or whatever, a certain state comes about for me and it's kind of like, the only way I can describe it is like being in a marshmallow. And I'm very, very aware and I'm sensing things, but I, I don't know quite why it's there or how come or what for. All right. Happening. Realize that when you allow yourself to open, I say, certain channels within you for certain types of energy, you will find that one of the physical translations you will have of that type of energy will be a supportive, very buoyant, atmospheric thickening around you. Do you follow me? Yes. This will be to form, in a sense, a field round and about your physical form that will act as a sense, as a lubricant between the dense vibration of your physical form and the higher vibration of the energy. Do you follow me? Yes. Without it, in a sense, there might be physical damage. Okay. I also have another question. Um, whenever I'm talking to people, I really, I can perceive where they're coming from as a being and what's happening with them. But the, the thing that seems to happen is there's an impactness in my universe and I really want to open that up and not have that impact in my universe. How do I go about that? Do you feel the impact is negative? Yes. What portions of yourself are you not looking at? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you follow me? Yes. Realize that you have chosen to experience every idea within your universe. You can experience nothing that you have not chosen to do. Realize you are always creating. No matter what consciousness may be attempting to communicate with you, you must always create, in a sense, your own version of that consciousness in order to receive the idea willingly. If you do so, you may simply understand that you are in some way, shape, or form telling yourself, here is another portion of my personality, another gift for me to feel equal to, to expand my horizons of awareness. Realize that you will never, ever, ever eradicate the idea of negativity from your personality. You may understand how to utilize that negative energy in positive, creative ways, but if you attempt to shut down the polar opposite energy to positive energy, you will cease to exist physically. Do you follow me? I think so. I will have to listen to this once again. And, and All right. Sure. Well, I will say it once again in another <laughs> way. <laughs> Realize that when you allow yourself to project into physical dimensionality, you automatically create the idea of polarity. Positive, negative, physical energy. This is to always remind you that you are the center from which both sides always stem. It is necessary for the maintenance and support of physical reality. Therefore, you will find that each side will have purpose in being purpose for the ideas that you have chosen to understand in this here and now physical life. And you will understand that in simply allowing them to do their job, they will lose, in a sense, their ability to cause friction for you. Do you follow me? Yes. Uh, the way I feel about it is that it's 
it's kind of like walking in the other man's shoes and realizing whatever's coming across and whatever communicate is being communicating or experienced is also a part of me and to fully experience all of that. To a degree, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do you wish to check your machines? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.